What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the new Marvel Legends reveal of the Reavers Pretty Boy. Before we get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up, like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's talk about it. I love being treated to these 20th of the month reveals and we're getting closer to completing our Reavers team with Pretty Boy. They went a little bulkier with him in size, which I suspected when we saw those new pinless Silvermane arms from that Amazon exclusive Spider-Man box set. When I saw those arms, I figured they would reuse it for Pretty Boy and already had the expectations of him being bulkier. So not a true classic look of the skinnier mechanical limbs, so if that upsets you, then I understand. This has more of a modern bulkier vibe in recent comics, so it doesn't bother me that much. After all, he's still a cyborg at its core. You could probably pop Skullbuster's head on it to get his more modern look too with the all cybernetic body. Just need to paint the flesh tone collar part in all black. My bad, I'm sidetracking a bit here. Let's get back to the figure. The head sculpt is giving me Ty Bro vibes. Anyone else? Love that hair sculpt. That looks right to me. He looks a little rugged. He could have been a bit softer on the face, but still captures that pretty boy feel and will still look good next to the rest of the team. The torso section is the part where they really got it right for me. The bolts and curvy angles mixed in with some nice line work and mechanical sculpted parts. It's very well done. I see that not only you get that upper torso rocker, but you also get a lower waist swivel as well. You can see the tubes shifted off to the side a bit if you look closely. The more I look at the legs, the more it looks less bulky, so it's not that bad. I like the line work again and even has some sculpted cogs on the side of his legs, which adds a more lifelike touch to his cyborg body. Ball joints at the hips, which I don't think will function like those bad wide joints we had in the past. Looks like it'll function the same as all the hip joints nowadays. There could be a hidden calf or ankle swivel somewhere in there. Hard to tell with all the line work going on, but those joints look best when it's dissimulated like that, or if a character is wearing boots to conceal that separation. The saddest part for me is that not only is this a digital render, which will make it harder to visualize the final deco, but mainly is that there is no deco at all present. Only deco I see is on the tubes. No dry brushing or wash whatsoever. It's just a plain dull looking plastic with no paint apps to bring out the details. It's supposed to look dirty and a little rusty. Is he the only cyborg that showers? Like jeez. <laughs> it's so clean that this shit is assaulting my eyes. <laughs> Lastly, moving on to accessories, we get trigger hands and two different handguns for him to hold. One gun has an extended clip out, two muzzle and smoke effects we've gotten before, but this time in a translucent green, and it looks very cool. I'm all for getting different colors with these kind of effects. Overall, I think he looks good, but I'm hoping that the final deco for him at least matches the same metal color as Skullbuster to look consistent throughout the team. Or a metallic silver paint, which is highly unlikely. With digital renders, you never know. He might look this bland or have that marbleized look. One thing for sure is that we come closer to completing that Reavers team for our X-Men, and team completions are the most important thing for me besides getting the character right. I believe we just need Mason and Cole to complete the team. Maybe they'll decide to give us a proper body for Reese, but for now, Nuke or G.I. Joe classified gung-ho will suffice. No confirmation on how he'll be released, whether it's a wave, box set, or whatever. It was said that he'll be available for pre-order later this year and is slated for a 2023 release, so stay tuned. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think of this pretty boy reveal? Are you looking to complete the Reavers team? Also, my top 20 X-Men Marvel Legends wishlist video is still in the works and I'm hoping to have it out by this weekend. If not, I'll definitely have it up beginning of next week. As always, comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. Thanks for watching another Marvel Legends news video. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, at xmanny87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.